ladies and gentlemen, he is fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks and hailing from Sydney, Australia. He weighed in at 153 and one half pounds. His record stands at 27 wins, four losses, with 19 wins coming by way of knockout. He is currently ranked the WBC number one super welterweight contender. Introducing the glamour with the hammer, Troy Water. And his opponent across the ring on my left, ready to fight. Out of the red corner, wearing white trunks with multicolored trim. Hailing from and representing Coupe Alto, Puerto Rico. He weighed in at already 153 pounds. As one of the young stars of boxing today, he is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with 31 wins, no losses, 27 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the undefeated IBF welterweight champion of the world, introducing Felix Tico Trinidad. to the first and then knocked Norris down with a right cross. Norris legitimately rocked and it turned out to be a war the rest of the way. He's got a solid chin but his face took a beating in that fight 32 stitches over and under the eyes. Let's see what happens here tonight against Trinidad. He felt very clear very clear in his head that if he could have survived the cuts and got into the seventh or eighth round that he could have stopped Norris because Norris used so much energy to get him out in the first couple of rounds. He told us that he feels Trinidad is not as physically strong as Norris. But what Trinidad looks can be deceiving. He hit Trinidad with a good hook, and Trinidad countered right back with a hook. Trinidad doubling up on the uh, left hooks, but those were uh, defended well by Waters. Waters says as soon as Trinidad hurts someone, they say, I've had enough. He's not like that. He says he's not in awe of Felix. He respects him. But he added, he's coming up to my weight. His plan is to catch him while he is punching. Very few people have been able to back Trinidad up too often. And right now, Waters is doing a good job. Your boy Compass did, but caught a tremendous beating on the way in. Waters said defense will be a key for him tonight. I've never seen Trinidad start really fast. He kind of boxes around for one round. If he gets knocked down in the second, then he gets it in gear. Otherwise, he takes his time. He's kind of methodical about things. Trinidad is a notoriously slow starter, as you know, but not a bad finisher. I wouldn't say not a bad finisher. I'd say an excellent finisher. Yeah, and he's so different from Terry Norris. I'd love to see, uh, you know, if he gets by Waters here. Norris in Trinidad. Norris, type of guy that just jumps right on you. That was one of the modern-day dream matches. It really was. Yeah. But Waters does have a good chin. He joked one reason why. He got a steel plate in his jaw. He had his jaw broken three times, once in a car crash, two in fights. But the Waters does look more physically imposing, but the, I don't know what that means against a guy like Felix Trinidad. It means you take jabs an awful lot and better. I mean, it's like hitting the side of a building. You keep bobbing. There's a nice... Oh, wow. Down goes Waters. The left hook on the temple hurt him, Steve. Five, the right hand was just ten, like a... Here, take that seven, with you. Eight, nine. Oh, he just made it. Yeah, the right was window dressing. Let's see if he can finish him off in the first round. Trinidad pouring it on. A flash knocked out from a right. Well, I'll tell you what. He goes down again with 20 seconds to go. Five, six, Trinidad jumping up on the turnbuckle. He's out. It's over. It's over with 10 seconds to go in round one. Felix Trinidad has won the bout. Doesn't get too much better than that, does it, Steve? Well, Waters had a rough few fights tonight. He didn't have a chance. At just about the stroke of midnight, the witching hour took place, and there it goes. All right, let's take a look at that. And we'll, we'll see the, the, the delayed reaction of that. You see, that was, it was a, a left, It was a left hook to oh. the temple. It was a delayed reaction. It was just like we saw the other one. It was over the ear. There's and no telling what can happen when you get hit in the temple. Watch it again. Watch that left hook right on the temple. There it is. And you can see the delayed reactions. Feet are not really under him. 
The right hand didn't even really hit his head. Hits him in the shoulder. No, he yeah. was on his way to the canvas. Yeah, the right hand had nothing to do with it. I mean, he almost dove for the canvas, but it's just that. Uh, all right, let's take a look at the second one because uh, it's uh, this one is a continuous just pummeling. Uh, Tito just decided over and under and up and over. And not many of those punches are going through cleanly, but you know what? He's punching so hard, he's punching through the gloves, and a couple of shots that hit the head right there. The head. And, and just as many fighters have had problems with those head shots as does Troy Waters. And and we also saw it go right through the gloves, Bobby. And, you know, I've always said, if you're punching very hard and your gloves up, you're feeling it through the gloves. I mean, the heavy punches like Foreman, List, and those guys. Well, watch here. See that left hook to the head in that yeah. one? Yeah. Those yeah. who really finished him. Those two, those who really got him right, right in that right third there. one, that's the third one. Right those shots here. to the temple, the same thing that got him down to start. And so much uh, for stepping up in weight being a problem for Felix uh, Trinidad. There he is, uh, scoring knockdowns at 208 and uh, the final one at 236. TKO.